animal camouflage. Have you ever played the game Hide and Seek? It's a fun game, huh? You have to stay still and quiet and wait until the seeker passes you by. Shh! Don't let them see you! Did you know that animals do something similar? But for animals in the wild, it's not a game. It is essential for survival. Animals use camouflage to hide or fool predators that are looking for a meal. Stick around and find out the many incredible ways animals use camouflage every day to stay alive. In the wild, animals can either be predators, which means they hunt other animals, or they can be prey, which means other animals hunt them. To stay alive, every animal must adapt to its environment. Camouflage can be a way for animals to adapt and help them survive. Let's talk about the four basic types of camouflage that's used by animals. The first is called concealing coloration or blending. The second is disruptive coloration or patterning, disguise, and mimicry. Let's look at each one in more detail. The first type of camouflage used by animals is called concealing coloration, or it can also be referred to as blending. This type of camouflage helps animals blend into their background. The white snowy owl and the polar bear are examples of animals that use concealing coloration as camouflage. Their white fur blends in with the white snow around them. It helps hide their movements as well as their location. Squirrels, white-tailed deer, and various brown owls are made up of earth-toned colors. These colors help them blend into the trees and dirt in their environment. Disruptive coloration is the next type of camouflage we'll learn about. It is often called patterning. This type of camouflage breaks up the outlines of an animal, making them difficult to see. Patterning is used by animals with spots, stripes, or patterns. The wavy stripes on a zebra help it blend in with the grasses surrounding it. It might seem odd that black and white stripes could blend into grass that is green or brown. But it works because zebra's main predator, the lion, is colorblind. Did you know that? Because lions are colorblind, the pattern of the stripes on the zebra are more important than the color. When a herd of zebras are together, their stripes merge, making them look like one giant striped animal. It is confusing for the lion and makes it hard for them to pick out one individual zebra from the herd. Some animals use their patterns to stand out as a warning to a predator. Fish often swim in a group called a school. They use their colors and disruptive designs to look like one big fish, similar to what zebras do. Lionfish use their bright colors to warn other animals to stay away from them and their painful spines. Scorpionfish and sea robins are not very colorful animals. But when they feel threatened, they unfurl large, brightly colored fins to startle their predators so they can escape. Our next type of camouflage is called disguise. Disguise is when an animal appears to be something other than it really is. It's kind of like wearing a costume on Halloween. Do you like to dress up on Halloween? It's fun! An animal disguise is different than a costume because it's on all the time. Remember our stick bug from the pictures at the beginning of this video? Predators of the stick bug might mistake it for a part of a tree instead of its next meal. You may have even strolled past a walking stick bug and didn't know it because it hides so well. The Malaysian orchid mantis is also an example of this type of camouflage. Look how beautiful that is! What an amazing way to camouflage! Other examples are 
a katydid, which looks like a leaf, a thorn bug, which looks like a thorn on a plant, and a buff tip moth that looks like a twig from a birch tree. Look at that! Is it a bug or a piece of wood? The last type of camouflage we'll discuss is called mimicry. This is when animals or insects use their camouflage to pretend to be something it's not. For example, some animals mimic something dangerous, bad tasting, or poisonous, so a predator will leave it alone. This is a great trick because predators are often fooled by the disguise. Some great examples are the elephant hawk moth caterpillar, the owl butterfly, and the scarlet snake. Let's look at each one and see if you'd be fooled in the wild. Our first example is the elephant hawk moth caterpillar. It has two false eyes and moves its head around to look like a snake. Another great example is the owl butterfly. This butterfly has a large eye spot on the outside of each wing to make it look like an owl. Would you be fooled if you were an animal looking for food? Although it is not venomous, it looks very similar to the coral snake, which is venomous and alerts predators to stay away. Did you know that animals don't just use camouflage to hide from predators? Some animals use camouflage to help them hunt for prey. Let's take a look at some animals that do just that. Have you ever seen a leopard? Its spotted coat can help the leopard catch its prey. The spotted coat blends into the surroundings so that it can sneak up on its prey. The unsuspecting prey cannot see the predator and is then attacked. As we have learned, camouflage is often used to hide from predators or to fool unsuspecting prey. But did you know that some animals use camouflage as a form of communication? A chameleon is a lizard that can change its colors. Maybe you already knew that. Most people believe that it's to fool predators. But in fact, the color change is used to communicate to other chameleons. They communicate that there may be danger in the area. Chameleons may change colors to attract a mate or as a reaction to their mood or environment. Changing colors also helps their bodies adjust to temperature or light changes. Let's review what you've learned today. What type of camouflage helps an animal blend into its background? The answer is concealing camouflage or blending. Did you get it right? True or false? Animals only use camouflage to hide from predators. False. Some use it to catch their prey. Great job! True or false? One of the reasons the chameleon changes its color is to communicate. That's true! Whether to help them hunt or to keep them from being hunted, camouflage plays an important part in the survival of many creatures. Hope you had fun learning with us! Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.